Gurmaigat, well, uh, Chairperson, in the past hour we've heard the usual excuses in welfare defence now from, from government, something that hasn't changed in the years that I've been raising this with them. But I'll tell you something, if there was any investors, any cuckoo funds or vulture funds uh, watching in to the contributions made by Minister Pascal Donoghue and Mr Burke, they'll be happy enough anyway because they know their lads have their back in Fine Gael, uh, because there's nothing going to change according to the two lads here. Indeed, Minister uh, Pascal Donoghue's speech went as far as to try and convince us all that the vulture funds are, 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 are poor souls that are just trying to do the best for ordinary rent renter renters and home purchasers out there and we should maybe shed a tear for them. But the reality is something very, very different. And uh, the fact that the Minister for Finance didn't even talk about the fact that they don't pay any corporation tax or capital gains tax shows that there is no defence in terms of the sweetheart deals that he has given and his colleagues have given these funds over the last number of years. One of the myths peddled by the government and again by the Minister uh, this evening is that these funds finance residential developments that would otherwise be built. But this isn't the first time we've heard this. He's said it numerous times before. Indeed, his party leader, the Tanisha, told the Dáil that the role of these funds is to finance the construction of developments which would not have been built if it not for finance from the investments fund. Such developments were not able to get funding from banks. That's what he told this House. It is blatantly untrue. As Hook and McDonnell estate agents noted in a recent Dublin residential investment report, very few institutional investors have funded the development and construction of properties that they bought in the Irish market. That is the truth. Not what Pascal Donoghue is saying, not what Leo Varadkar is saying, not the spin that's coming from this government. Last week we got a report from BNP Paribas, and that found that investment funds bulk purchased 4,900 properties in 2021 alone, and they were paying 32% more than the average asking price. 32% more because they believe that rents are going to stay at the levels that they are. Properties which we know are now being rented out at extortionate price. And they are extortionate, and that is the word for them. But Peter Burke wants us to shed a tear if you would even think of that they have to pay €400 Euro more, given that they don't pay any tax whatsoever. These funds have more firepower than ordinary workers and families out there. So if you care, then do something about it. They have more firepower, and the problem is that it's not just that. You are making things worse. You have given them more firepower because the policy of the government is to give you the greater advantage over workers and families, and that's the blunt truth about it. There's no hiding place from this year. Even Home Building Finance Ireland, which is wholly owned by the Minister for Finance across the doll floor here, it was set up by the government to finance residential development. It has provided €264 million Euros in funding for five developments, 916 units that have been or are to be bought up by these same funds. So just get this for a moment. Get this for a moment. We have the taxpayers funding over a quarter of a billion euro to a developer to build homes. Those homes never come on the market. The funds buy them right from the start, agree to buy them. They charge eye-watering rents of €2,000 plus, and all of those million euros that they get from those rental incomes, the Minister for Finance across the floor and with the support of Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael and the Green Party are saying you do not have to pay one cent, not even one cent of tax on that. Any other company, any other individual would have to pay a tax on that rental income. But you think that they should have special privilege to boost up rental prices and house prices, allow them to pay over 32 per cent the asking prices, pushing up house prices on everybody, and then you try to convince us that you have the, at the heart, at the core of your policy, is ordinary renters, workers or families. Nothing can be further than the truth, because these only policies only serve one, in, one purpose, and that is to serve the funds. In May 2020, the Dublin-based invest in advi investment advisory firm Gillen Markets wrote a note to international investors on our housing market and why it's broken. So this is what they said, and Minister Donoghue knows what they said, but this is what they said. 
Current housing policy has benefited both institutions and developers at the expense of individual buyers. The aims of institutions is to maximise its rental income from its properties, and developers are also designing apartment blocks to maximise this income for the institutions, rather than aiming to meet the needs of society. It went on to say that the current high level of house prices and rents in Ireland in residential property market has been driven in a significant way by government housing policy, with favourable policies attracting institutional investors into the market. It went on to say that their gradual move into the market has contributed to higher housing prices and higher rents. Not my words, not Sinn Féin words. This is the market talking to itself, exposing what you and Fine Gael, what your government has done over the last 10 years. You've rolled out the red carpet. You have given them more firepower to push up prices on ordinary people, and the public can no longer stand for it. It is crazy what is happening. It is crazy what is happening. And people out there, if you really get it, are pleading with you to take away that advantage from the funds. Why and under God would you allow them to be outbidden ordinary families who are desperate and needed for homes? Why would you allow that to do it? You do it every time, but you didn't address that once in your 10-minute contribution or indeed your 10-minute contribution. Not once did you, did you justify why you allow them to pay no tax, why you allow them to outbid ordinary people, ordinary families, and why they are allowed to push up rents in this city across the board. This motion should be supported by anybody who has the interests of workers and families at heart instead of those who support the profits of these funds.